So this is Classic Cameos by Annie Sloan. I love the colors and the stripes and all the details of the various elements. I was particularly drawn to this piece and decided to use the color scheme for the inspiration for my project. And we're using this iFlex piece. These um, you heat up and then they're pliable and you glue them down. And it's super cool. So I'm using that along with the angel and fairy. So this is an angel and this is a fairy and it's just as sweet as sweet could be. This board measures 11 by 17. It is three quarter inch sanded interior plywood. And then this is like a one by two that I put a shelf so it could be like a shelf sitter. And I decided that I wanted this to go along the bottom. And there's about a square down there. And I'm going to put that on there. And then on top of that is going to go this stripe. So you'll see right now it's, a, um, it's pretty much of a wintry blue, you know, with a white base to it. But when you add that crinoline, I'm just going to mix that right in there and I'm going to take my brush, dip it right into my water. So I'm just going to spritz this and I want to make sure that it's wet. And that is, it's super, super wet. And now I'm going to match this up. And I don't want to go... over the paper that's underneath. So I just tried to butt them up. I like the imperfections and the wrinkles. So I'm just smoothing this down. What this accomplishes, your paint inlay is dried paint on a carrier sheet. I want to coax that paint off the carrier sheet onto my board. By wetting my surface, that wet surface is going to pull the paint down into your project. And now I actually want to push it off the back, but I'm going to brayer this first. So now I've got the water on there. And what I'm trying to do is push the paint from the back of the carrier sheet. So the wet paint on the other side is pulling it. And now I'm trying to push it. I'm going to take parchment paper because I want this to be imperfect, just like the rest of it. So I'm going to take a sheet of parchment paper. It's going to go the length. And I'm going to, I'm going to wrinkle this a little bit. And lay it down. 
And I'm going to take my broyer. And I'm going to do exactly what I did with the inlay. Now the parchment paper is a lot heavier. But it's going to give me that character that I want. So I'm going to pull it up. That is pretty awesome. Look at that. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it. That is so fun. Look at that. And we're going to wet this. I put this piece on second. These were separate pieces, so I have to remove this one first. Now I pulled some paint up right there, which means it wasn't, I didn't get my paper wet enough right there. That's what that little spot means. Do I care? Absolutely not. Not even a little. So I'm going to put some of my base color, which is the Prom Queen. I'm using the same brush that has white on it. I'm going to use a little bit of the crinoline, although I already have some on my plate. And I'm going to bring all of that into these pieces. And I'm going to get some white paint on there. And we're just going to start by bringing in. Remember, I have um, a big top on here, so I'll be able to wipe back. Just making that really look like it's time worn. that crinoline and mix it in the blue so it's more in line with the rest of the piece. So I'm just, I got some of this color on my brush and I'm just making it look like I got some bruises somewhere. So the only thing I did off camera was just added more blue paint in here 
and then we went back and wiped it off. This was a trimmings three mold. And um, you saw me dry brushing. I love so much of this. So um, I love the white on here, but I'm gonna bring in a lot more of the blue. I'm afraid that that's what I think I need to do. We sealed all of this with Big Top Sealer. So that's where I'm gonna go. So I've got those colors and I'm gonna mix off to the side here. And I want it lighter to begin with. And I think that's pretty good. And I'm gonna start from the outside in. I still have some gravel road here too. I'm gonna to put some gravel road down and try something. So I'm going to try and darken that prom queen with the gravel road. To get more of like a shadow color. And pull that along some of the tips or places where I think shadows would be. this part too. Probably a little heavier gravel road in here. This neck area. And when you think about it, a concrete statue would actually pull this color. Okay, um, instead of wiping this back, I'm gonna go back in and layer color. And I'm gonna go mostly into the white. I want you to see this, cause it's so cool. All right, now we got it. White swan, offload. And now I'm hitting the tops of everything. Same idea. Let me start with the hair. I don't know if you can see it in there. The crackle. Just cancel that. I'm gonna get more of a sporadic look, which is what I want. So I'm using pale gold metallic. And I'm gonna start with the roses first. And I'm just going to lightly, randomly hit some of the tops. floral element and then
so this is where we left off and I'm really liking the amount of gold that's on the angel and fairy. So all I really want to do is paint the sides right now. And I've decided that I'm going to paint them black and go over that with gold. So that's what I'm going to do right now.